Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is Mila Victoria. I feel like I have to reintroduce myself because I've disappeared on this platform for years. Anyway, I'm going to teach you guys how I did my makeup for my passport photo, which has received an incredible amount of positive feedback, aka two people said it looked great. So that was enough for me to make it into a video. Keep watching if you're curious to see how I achieve this. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button because you literally will never know when I will upload a video. I promise you it won't be another five years. That's it, I'm here, keep on watching. So I'm gonna be using the Armani Concealer, the Luminous Silk Concealer in 7.5. This one is more in the deeper peachier tones. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this wherever I need to bump up the shadows. The base is gonna be way more thorough and solid for a passport photo just because there is an on-camera flash, so it will eat through some of the pigment. So we just wanna make sure that your base and your skin and all like the corrective stuff is done. I love that I like disappear for 10 years and I decide to come back to do a passport. <laughs> <laughs> a passport makeup tutorial now I'm going to put on the Shiseido foundation and the synchro sync radiant lifting foundation it's oil free I did not know that when I bought that because I prefer to have a mix of hydration and oil in my foundation because I am dehydrated um, I did squirt this out a little bit earlier and I'm not a wasteful girl so I will put Get it off of the tissue because I got ahead of myself. You know, I've been meaning to try Shiseido foundation for so long and I just keep forgetting about it and then remembering and forgetting about it again. And finally, I was like, let me just try this foundation out because the main foundation I normally use is Tom Ford and that shit hurts the bank. But how's everyone doing? How's everyone's lives have been and changed the past like five years since I've been on here? Do I look happier? Because I am. <laughs> oh, I'm also quite nervous getting back on here because it's been so long and I just feel like, I mean, it's true. I've let you guys down. I've promised so many times that I would make a video and I've never pulled through. Um, but here we are. Never say never. Next step is I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the Yellow Corrector. I love, love this corrector. And the formula is amazing because it's not heavy. And I feel like even after I'm finished, you know, putting on my powder or anything like that, I can still add it on top and it doesn't look cakey. So for this, I'm just going to put it in the points where I want to lift. So I'm just applying this right under the cheekbone. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I'm gonna do the inside, inside bits in here. So I'm not gonna be blending this out. I'm just gonna stay in the same spots that I've applied it because I do wanna concentrate the yellow corrector in the air so I specifically put it. I'm actually gonna leave the one that's on my nose to dry up a little bit more. Next is blush off. I'm using Orgasm Liquid Blush from NARS. I've literally had this for so long. Oh, yeah, it's kind of expired now, but it still smells okay and works for me. I don't even do a full pump of this because it's so, it's a lot. So I'm gonna use just the bottom of my beauty blender and see. So I still smile a bit, just putting it, see that? It's funny because I only just started putting on my liquid and cream blushes with the bottom of the Beauty Blender recently. And I'm just like, why didn't I think of this sooner? It works so perfectly for my cheeks. So if anyone, all my Asian girls out there who have flatter cheeks. This is the hack. I feel like everyone knows this hack already, but I literally just discovered this recently. And then I'm going to blend out my nose highlight. Now we have to seal everything. 
and I have a little travel size of the Charlotte Tilbury press powder in shade number two. Oh, I just realized this, well, this is the second brush I'm using. The Sephora 98 brush. I think it's that, yeah, it's a highlighting brush, but I like it for using for powder. So I'm going to really concentrate this in the T zone to soften the shine. Right. There, um. Now I'm gonna get my puffier powder brush. I'm also really obsessed with this Sephora Pro Collection powder brush. It's massive. And I love that it gets tapered in the end and it's wide and it's like angled. It's so versatile. I use this for my powder, my bronzer. For this, I'm still gonna use the same powder, but because it's fluffier, it'll be as less concentrated on the face. I still want to be matte, but I don't want to be caked on. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to add that over the cheek area so that when we apply the powders on top, it'll be powder on powder so the blend will be much smoother. So to seal and enhance the color that I have under, which is orgasm, I'm going to go over it with Charlotte Tilbury's Love Glow Cheek to Chic. Was it Swish and Pop Blusher? So it has like its actual color in the middle and like the highlight on the outside. This one is a MAC blush brush 129. I've probably literally had this since high school. So just pat in there. Lightly pat over. See how it's starting to look very airbrush? That's probably what I'll call this. The airbrushed passport ID makeup tutorial. Let's get into contour. I absolutely love this Dior Backstage Contour Palette. Look at that. Obsessed. Really like my favorite palette. So I'm going to be using the Deep Contour. Or no, the light. Oh, this is the, this is the light contour. Okay, sure. So I'm going to be using that with a Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is a blush brush. I can't even tell anymore. Because, oh, sculpting. So I've used it so much. I'm just going to put this along my jawline. And because you're being photographed straight on, you really want to have that definition. And I'm actually going to be using the deep highlighter. Okay, I didn't even realize this was a highlighter. I thought it was just like the lighter contour, but it's what I've been using to contour. So I'm gonna use some of that. And I've switched up the way I've contoured my face over the years just because now I'm trying to look softer instead of looking more cut. So I'm literally just applying this right here just to catch that hollow right there. Gonna get a little bit of the deep contour again and just add it right that looks crazy but once we add the bronzer and everything things will get married in together da -da, la, la, la. okay this one really all right all right i'm gonna use the eye blender brush from charlotte tilbury so blending brush and i'm going to get the deep contour again and then I'm going to start from the inside of my brow and I'm just going to bring it down. Like it's all about the layers and the base because we are really, really trying to manipulate. Oh, there you go. The lights kind of show my contour a bit more. We're trying to manipulate this flash. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I've literally, oh, the sun. Okay. I've literally hated getting my class photos taken, my passport photos taken like anything that had to do with ID pictures my entire life and I'm 37 that passport photo was the first ID I've ever liked in my entire life and I mean I was still nervous to have it getting it taken but you know when I was doing my makeup I was like okay this is gonna be flash proof did it or whatever and we literally took one photo or maybe two, I think she took one or two max. And then the girl at Staples was gagging and she was like, oh my God, this is 
She's like, your makeup is the most perfect thing I've ever seen in a passport photo. I was like, shut up, you're lying. You're being too nice. Ooh, okay, this light, like I get it, it's conceptual, but the goal isn't perfectionism, it's just to show you what is going on. You can totally see my tripod there, my next camera. This part is quite important too, it's the baking bit. I'm gonna be using the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder, which everyone already knows about. I normally do not bake, just because it's, for me personally, in, when I'm seeing people up, up close, I don't wanna look like I have so much makeup on. So I'm just gonna use a regular wedge sponge and we are gonna pack, pack this on. Like this is what made a huge, 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 huge difference for my photos. Oh my God, I can feel my skin getting so dry from the powder already. We are in drag city, drag city now. This stuff is important. It's like if Solange were to do a makeup tutorial, it'd be very like lighting, shadows. <laughs> For eyes, it's gonna be really, really simple. We're not doing anything too crazy. Um, I'm gonna go back to the Dior palette again, and I'm gonna be using the light contour, which is this one. Okay, I'm just gonna get this mini brush, and I'm gonna continue from where I contoured my nose and just get in my crease. I'm going to actually do my mascara first. I know really random, but I actually do my liner after I get my mascara on. Oh, and I'm using the, um, what is this? Shiseido Lash Curler. Lash Blast Mascara. Literally have been using this for so long. This is probably the longest relationship I've ever had in my life is with this mascara. <laughs> I'm using the waterproof one. And again, because of COVID and just everything and like the vapors and the mask, there, I had to stop using a couple of my favorite mascaras just because everything just smudges everywhere. So I've just been needing to use waterproof mascara. For the day ones who have watched my YouTube channel from the beginning, we're still on the Shuamara pencil. This is a new one though, but this is only my second one in the last like 15 years. I'm gonna try and get this as symmetrical as possible. Um, but we all know that brows are sisters, not identical twins. It's, it's a bit stressful when you know your headshot's gonna be taken dead on and then you're gonna start picking it apart. So it's just like, ugh, ugh. This is how much I hate having my passport photo taken. I literally, you know how it's like cheaper to, and smarter to renew your passport for 10 years? My last passport photo I hated so much that I was just like, no, I need it only for five years because I cannot wait to take, like have a new photo. Oh, Benefit Brow Gel, the absolute best brow setting gel ever. Now that my mascara is nice and dry, I'm going to be doing a liner in my waterline, but in my top waterline. I always hate doing this step one for video because it's so hard to see what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna do the bottom waterline. This one is a naked liner from MAC and it's actually a lip liner and it's discontinued. I know I shouldn't be using it for the video, but it's what I've been using. When I found out it was being discontinued, I was like, what? I'm buying the rest of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. How did my photo look? Oh, we did some bottom bits in there. Okay, so I also did a heavy brown eyeshadow vibe under the eyes just to add for the contour. So um, I'm going to be using Suede Charm. Suede Charm, which is that guy. And the shadow on the bottom lash line, I'm going to be a little bit more heavy handed and just pull it down a little lower than normal and then i'm gonna go in i'm gonna get a little bit of the brownie this guy just to do a little bit of more contouring the outer corners because once i add 
the liquid liner. I kind of just want everything to blend out together. Wow, that looks amazing. Okay, now we're gonna do bronzer and let's see if this might be too dark. So this is Guerlain Terracotta Sun Trio in this guy. Okay, our lighting is back and now you guys can see my makeup. The bronzer bit is not like a necessary step. It was just for me because I was more tanned. But I do encourage to use something a bit deeper and warmer on the outer bits of the face. When the flash hits that you can get that, that soft glow in the inside and have everything kind of keep it tight on the edge of the face. And then now I'm going to brush off everything that I baked. It's quite natural looking. See how soft that looks? Okay, then I'm going to do my liner. And this is the MAC Liquid Last Liner and it's incredibly waterproof. If you've never used this before, I'm telling you this liner will change your life. Okay, I did that bit and then I'm just gonna go in here. Lips, I did Stone Lip Liner from MAC. And it's basically contour for lips. Yeah, that's all right. And then I put on Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips in, oh my God, I can't even read this. It's called Charlotte Dolling. So I'm gonna put that all over. Because I really want to go for like a nudie lip. I use NARS in Yo, these font sizes are tiny as hell. Madur or Matter? I don't know how to say it. I butchered it. I know I did. But like this, this is nude lipstick. I don't even know if it's limited edition or not. But I always, I love using this lipstick as a highlight for any lip color I'm using. I kind of just put it in the middle. And it, it like just gives my lips that extra bit of dimension. And in terms of setting, just want to make sure you really set this guy in solid. I'm using Benefit Pore Professional Super Setter. I don't know, the girl at Shoppers really sold me on this. I just literally bought this yesterday, so I'm gonna use it. Make sure you set your makeup solid. I'm not a fan of this nozzle. And there you guys have it, the Passport makeup look. I tried my best. I'm looking in the mirror again and I feel like in person, it actually isn't the, that bad. It really is in the base and the blend and just making sure everything is matte. And in terms of posing, I just like having my chin a little bit forward and down. And exhaling through my mouth. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I miss being on YouTube. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And for those that have been waiting for a really long time for me to upload a video, I really appreciate you. And if there's anything else you guys would like to see, please just leave me a comment below. You can also follow me on Instagram at Mila Victoria. But anyway, see you next time. Bye.